Welcome to this video review. Uh, in front of me I have a Steiner Blue Horizons 10x26 pocket binoculars. And I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Steiner itself as a company and this particular product. If we start with Steiner as a company, you probably know they are one of the biggest producers of binoculars in the world. Uh, or at least in Europe. They are based in Germany and they have been producing binoculars since 1947. So. Uh, they know how to make proper binoculars. This Blue Horizons, they came out in um, 2019. Now in 2020, I would say they're hitting the market with full speed. This particular 10 by 26 model is uh, the bigger one. There is also 8 by 22 models, which we also have a review. Please check it out if that model interests you. Um, the Blue Horizons, they, they come from the category of uh, nature, outdoor, travel binoculars. So Steiner has a lot of uh, binoculars in this uh, category. They have the Safari Ultra Sharp, they have the Blue Horizons, they have uh, Skyhawk, they have uh, Wildlife, uh, so many of them uh, for different types of users. So I would say these are more of a travel binoculars than anything else. If I go through the physical properties, so the dual hinge at the center you can see you can really fold them together so that they're really small or pull them apart so that they fit your eyes um, this is made out of metal the rest is probably a combination of macrolon the material that Steiner really knows well and the binoculars are filled with nitrogen so they will work all the way from minus 20 at minus 20 they will not fog internally all the way to plus 70 so even if you go on a safari they will still work well um, on the other side you see they're covered with rubber and it's really nicely designed and also the fit and finish and the general feel is really really nice you can see for the carrying straps this is made out of metal again uh, so they are one of the most beautiful pocket binoculars on the market at the moment myself personally I would buy them just because of the looks and they are also very affordable 200 euros for a premium German um, pocket binoculars they weigh approximately 300 grams and in size 11 centimeters in in height and approximately 10 centimeters in in width or a bit more maybe 11 by 12 but really really uh, I would say pocket size you can put them anywhere I, I try not to use the compact word because the compact uh, category of binoculars are those which are a little bit bigger between the pocket and the full size they're made in uh, Germany at least they say so and uh, or they are just assembled in Germany and uh, they come with a 10 years warranty uh, if I look at the eyepieces you see they're winged you can change the position of the this winged part so no light will come from the side to your eye, no stray light. And uh, the opter setting is on the left, the left eyepiece. It runs really smoothly, nicely from minus four to plus four. Uh, the eye relief on this particular model is only 12.5 millimeters, a little bit less than 13. That's really not much, but honestly speaking, all pocket binoculars have the same problem. With the eyepieces, if you don't wear glasses you, glasses, you use them like this. If you wear glasses, you have to twist them down like this. And then you're able to use them with glasses. Um, the focusing, the focusing is central with this really nice rubber, rubber wheel. And it's designed in a way that you're able to to turn it either from the lower side or the upper side so really really nice I like the design especially and also the feeling is not I would say it's it's smooth and it grips well and for binoculars for 200 euros it's more than good enough the optical properties so 10 times magnification 26 millimeter objective lens Schmidt and Pehan prisms in between all standard with 98 meters of field of view so the field of view is also average so all the lenses are multi-coated 
And now we come to the to the big selling point of this binoculars, the Autobright technology. So they say that these binoculars, then the lenses inside, they can adjust the light transmission rate. That means if you look into the bright um, scene, bright scenery, the light transmission rate will be lower than if you look in the shade, the light transmission will be higher. Well, I would say this is the marketing approach how to how to really explain what they did. Mm. We know from for ages long that eyes react better to the yellow colors, to the yellow color of light. This is the reason why your eyes, if you're in a, let's say in a, in a house or an apartment where all the lights are yellowish, you will be less tired than when all the lights are bluish and really, really white. And I think Steiner, I'm sure that they, they discussed this problem because majority of their users of pocket binoculars, which go on trips, on travels, on safaris and so on, they use their binoculars in daytime bright, really hard sun. And it's a strain for their eyes, because if you look, it's like watching into the sun. It's just, it's, you know, your eyes are, get strained. And if you look with the binoculars towards the sun, your eyes will be permanently damaged. So let's say when you're in a, in a bright uh, day, uh, on a sunny day, and you look at the, let's say, snow, you're in the mountains. You see so many reflections and you see that the sun is really, really strong. The same happens on the sea. You see so many reflections of the sun from the, from the sea surface. And this is the problem with all pocket binoculars, that they are not adjusted to such use, even though they're majority, in majority of times when they are used, they're used in such conditions. So Steiner said, okay, let's do it like this. Let's do the coatings where this bluish color, it's damped a little bit. So the light transmission rate of the blue part of the, of the segment of, of the wavelengths of light will have a lower light transmission rate. And the rest, the red and green, the yellowish will have a normal light transmission rate. Now what happens? When you look into the, into the shade into the, on a normal cloudy day, Everything will be perfect. You will see a nice image. It will have a little bit of yellowish cast, but not much. But when you look into the snow or let's say into the, into the water of the sea with a lot of reflections from the sun, the light transmission rate will be lower. You will have a yellowish tint, which helps your eyes so that the eyes don't get uh, tired. And you will have a better and more comfortable viewing experience. And this concept is not new. If you ever look through any Soviet time binoculars from the East, especially military binoculars and so on, you will always see that they have a yellowish cast, a yellowish tint. And the reason for it is that it's known for ages that eyes just don't get as tired when you see a yellow color than it, they are tired when you're looking at the blue color or, or white. So white is not a color, it's just um, everything else is a color while, while white is not a color. Uh, it just means that too much light comes into your eyes. Um, and at Steiner, they took the same approach. So the same philosophy. Let's do a little bit lower light transmission rate on the blue part of the wavelength of, uh, of visible light and everything else uh, the same. So you get a yellowish tint, but it's good for your eyes. Your eyes won't get as tired as with, uh, with uh, normal binoculars. So. Okay, if I come to the end of this review where I always do a short summary and I go through the negatives and through the positives. So what is positive? These are really beautiful binoculars. Really, really beautiful. Well made, well designed and with really good fit and finish. 10 years warranty is also very nice. The focusing system is pleasant. Um, I also think that the field of view with 100 meters for the pocket binoculars is also more than decent. And I like the neoprene carrying bag. Uh, I don't like that much this carrying strap. It could have been done a little bit better, but normally these are pocket binoculars. What I especially like is that they started to think how to solve a common problem of people going on vacation, 
somewhere in where it's hot climate and where the sun is really, really strong. And they decided to do this auto bright technology because I think it will do good for people using these binoculars. Okay, maybe the color fidelity will not be perfect, but still in bright sunny days, these binoculars will be far more comfortable than any others. What I think could have been done better? The eyepieces. I like the eyepieces which have multiple positions more than this. Twist up, twist down system with rubber. I also think that 12.5 uh, millimeters of um, eye relief is, it could have been done better even though with pocket binoculars we know that this is always problematic and that no one else achieves this uh, either. Uh, apart from that, if you're looking for a really beautiful binoculars for use in bright daylight, then I would say this is a really a viable choice. And with the Steiner reputation for robustness, reliability and longevity of products, you're buying something you, what you will be able to use for decades, even the war in these 10 years. So thank you for watching. Please check our other reviews of uh, similar products uh, from Steiner or from other manufacturers. And if you have any additional questions, please send us an email.